So hello guys, welcome to this video. So into this quick video, we'll be writing a simple program, which is a simple game. So before we go further, now I want to show you real uh, quick preview. Now, let's say if we run this code, we are going to have a window just like this one. So this is a simple game which we are going to write in this video. So as you can see, it's working perfectly. Now I'm going to close this window. So now, uh, if you're ready, let's jump right into it. So before we go further, now very first thing we are going to do is just we are going to create a new project. And this is going to be simple game. So create and a new window. So we are going to wait for some time. We will be creating this game with the help of the module called Turtle. So very first thing we are going to do is just we are going to import the model Turtle. And then after this one, we are going to set up the window. So set up the uh, window or maybe let's call it screen so after setting up the screen here we say screen equals so turtle dot screen and then after this one we are gonna give the screen a name sorry for this indent and then after this we are gonna give the screen a name so screen is gonna be title and then let's say it's gonna be a simple game and then after this one we are gonna uh, change the background color of the screen so VG color, let's say it's going to be so black. And after this one, what we're going to do is just we are going to give the dimension. So this is going to be like a uh, screen. And then screen dot setup. And then it's going to be width. It's going to be 600. And then height is going to be also 600. So as you might have assumed, this is going to be a window uh, with the size 600 by 600. And now what we're gonna do is just we are gonna set up the bolt as you as you saw in the preview we uh, have the bolt which is moving in the screen and then let's say ball so let's say ball turtle dot turtle turtle and then after this one we are gonna give it shape so let's say ball dot shape so shape it's gonna be like a circle and then sorry so circle and then after this one let's say after giving a circle and then we are going to give it a color let's say background color and then let's say dot color and then it's gonna be here white and then after this one let's say we have this uh, ball speed so actually this is the speed at which the ball moves let's say speed and it's gonna be zero and then also when you are defining the speed you have number ranging from zero to ten uh, with zero meaning the highest speed and with 10 meaning the lowest speed so and after this one i'm gonna uh, change the position of this uh, ball let's say ball dot go to uh, sorry before we go further i should uh, before we do that we need to we need pen up here so here we pen up and after this one let's say uh, go to and then here we have this uh, zero and 200 so this is going to be zero the uh, uh, middle of the screen and now what we are going to do is just we are going to initialize the screen dot main loop we are going to add this sorry so we are going to add this uh, screen to the main loop and then let me run this code in order to make sure that everything is working fine or not so it says here we are just um, circle i think here we are having typo circle sorry for for the typo and then let's run so yeah as you can see we have this simple game with this window with the title of simple game and now we are done with defining this uh, circle and then after this one what we are gonna do is just we are gonna now we have just set up the, our screen successfully we have just set up the ball successfully and then we, we, what we are gonna do is just let's say we have two variables let's say x step and it's gonna be six and then we have this y step and it's gonna be four let's say so the, these are the numbers by which uh, this so these are the numbers which are added to the uh, coordinates of the ball in order to move it randomly and after this one let's say we are going to set up the bar so as actually if you don't know what the bar is now let me show you real quick so let's say uh, we have this bar so here we have this bar and then user moves this bar to the left and to the right in order to kind of deflect the object or in order to deflect the ball that's why so here uh, we are going to define this ball now uh, bar right now so let's say we are going to set up the bar set up the bar so actually here what we're gonna do is just let's say bar equals so turtle as usual dot uh, turtle again and there is this something like parenthesis and then after this one let's say we are gonna define its shape so it's gonna be shape and then it's gonna be uh, square 
square and not to this one let's say we are gonna do something like uh, we are gonna give it a color let's say we are gonna say color and then this is gonna be white and then which is quite distinguishable and after this one we are gonna say sh shape size shape size and here we have two different uh, stretch let's say so we have stretch width and it's gonna be one and then we have uh, stretch uh, stretch length and it's gonna be five and then once we are done with it we are gonna say bar dot pen pen up and then after this one we are gonna uh, change the position of this bar go to and it's gonna be zero and then minus 280 so now it's done let's run this code one more time in order to make sure that everything is fine so now as you can see it's working fine and now the reason the reason why i set this minus 280 is that i want this bar to be bottom of the screen and then what we are going to do is just we are going to proceed further and then we are going to define two functions in order to move the bar to the left or to the right by the users so now we, we are going to define the function let's say move uh, move left and then it's going to be parenthesis and then let's say x we are going to get the position of this bar so let's say so uh, and after this one let's say x coordinates and then after getting the coordinates we are going to check if uh, x is greater than minus 250 what we are going to do is just uh, x minus equal 20 we are going to still continue uh, kind of subtracting 20 points and then after this one we have this bar dot set set x we have this set x and this is going to be x right and then we are going to define another function here so this is going to be def and it's going to be move right as you might have as you might guess so now to move right and then here x we are going to uh, go through the same procedure so we are going to get coordinates and then this time if let's say x is less than 250 let's say and then we are what we are going to do x plus equal 20 we are going to increase to 20 the points by 20 i mean the coordinates of this and after this one we are going to say bar dot set x and then we are going to set the x so now let's say everything is done and now what we are going to do is just we are going to continue further now we are going to enable our screen to listen for the keyboard uh, in order to detect whether the user has pressed any key in, on the keyboard or not so let's say listen and after this one we are going to say screen let's say on key pressed on key on key press let's say we are going to write this move move left function and then comma let's say when the left arrow key is pressed and then we are going to say screen dot on on key press and then we are going to move right this time and then this let's say this is right and then what we are gonna do is just we are gonna start the main part main part now let's check if it's working fine or not now as you can see it's moving fine when we press the left and right arrow keys and then we are gonna start the main part now so once we are gonna in execute this main part in the while loop so true and then we, what we are going to do is just we are going to update the screen so screen update and then after updating the screen we are going to change the position of this ball so let's say ball dot uh, set x set x and then we are going to open this parenthesis and in the parenthesis i'm going to get the coordinate x coordinate so x coordinate and plus let's say we say x plus x step and then yes and then we are going to do the same for the y as well so let's say ball and then ball dot set y and then here open parenthesis let's say ball dot y coordinate we are getting the co uh, y coordinates of the ball and then here y step and then as you can see now it's done i think here we are having extra uh, parenthesis let me double check 
yes i think it's fine now and then after this one we are gonna check or we are gonna have a couple of conditions very first condition we are gonna have is just we are gonna check uh, if the ball is not exceeding the kind of walls or let's say if the ball is touching the walls of the screen so very first thing we are gonna do is here is just if ball if ball let's say if ball dot x coordinate we are getting the coordinate is greater than 250 or let's say ball dot x coordinate kind of less than minus 290 in this case what we are gonna do is just we are gonna change the direction let's say and then multiply it minus one so and then after this one let's say we are gonna have another condition here it's gonna be for the y let's say if ball dot y coordinate is greater than 290 let's say it's it's greater than 290 what we are gonna do is just we are gonna also change the direction so let's say it's gonna be multiplied equal minus one multiplied equal minus one and then this is done so and then once we are done with this condition now we are going to continue with another condition in which we are going to check if the ball is deflected by the user or not meaning that if the ball is perfectly aligned with the bar uh, in the bottom or not so let's say let's continue then so if let's say uh, ball dot y coordinate let's say uh, is less than minus 270 so here in this case we are just making sure that ball is in a lower position and now next we are going to check if uh, the ball is aligned with the bar or not so let's say here we are going to check bar dot uh, x coordinate so minus 60 so when we get the x coordinate of the bar we are going to just getting the center of it that's why we are going to check it with check it with the left corner uh, we are just deducting uh, minus 60 we are just deducting 60 and then if it's less than ball dot uh, ball dot x coordinate x coordinate and then it's great it's less than uh, bar dot x coordinate plus 60 and then in this case if this is if this condition is met what we are gonna do is just we are gonna deflect the ball so here y step and then multiply it equal minus one and then final condition here what we are gonna do is just if let's say if the user misses the ball let's say if ball dot y coordinate let's say uh, is less than minus 300 meaning that the ball has just been missed by the user what we are gonna do is just we are gonna close this window turtle dot screen dot by and then we are gonna break out of this loop and then so now everything is set now let's run this code code one more time so now let's check this yes as you can see it's working fine and now let's check the missed case scenario let's say i don't deflect this ball and then now as you can see the game has been finished successfully so guys that's it for this video so if you like this video please give it likes leave comments and thank you so much for watching